Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Ted from Ted's Basement. Today we're going to be talking about a card storage box option that I just recently purchased on Amazon. It comes in a pack of 10. Let's take a look at the Amazon listing as of the time of this video. You get some dividers. You can label it out if you want to. Here you can see what they look like. The ones I got did not have the tab, like the whole width of it was a tab. We'll see that in a minute. So sometimes the dividers might be a little bit different than what's pictured, but you get dividers. Here are the dimensions. Okay. Mine did not have a black coloring on the inside. The outside is, is all the same uh, matte black look, but the inside of mine are brown. So again, you might get like a little slightly different, you know, print or printing of it. I have a, di a slightly different logo on top, but you know, relatively it's, it's the same product. Let's go back to our tabletop down view. You can see here, like this is a little bit different. The inside, like again, mine's brown. These are the dividers I got. The whole top of it is a label rather than just like a small portion. I don't know what you would get if you bought this because it is different than the pictures. So I'm not sure if they are going to be changing slightly tweaking their product line as they go. Uh, one of the things I like is that I can put a full deck box in there. I can also do top loaders, but here's how I have to do them. I go this way and I put in like, these are vintage. They're like 1996. So I put them in their own little bag in here. And so this is one way you could do it. If you, if you want to have some top loaders in there, if you want to have some deck boxes in there, of course, if you just load it with cards, they're, they're going to fit. So there's definitely plenty of room. I, I think when I close the lid, it's probably going to pull it, pull it in a little bit like that right there. One of the things I like about it is the tabs on the lid go between these two pieces of cardboard. So it's not touching your cards. See, if I open this up, you'll see what I mean. Look, this outer flap folds over on the inside and your tab goes in there. I think a lot of boxes do that, but I just want to call that out. Let's take a quick look at the dividers that I got. So they are definitely taller than a card. They feel they feel like a thick cardboard. So let's stick one in here. We can see how tall it is. So it definitely sticks up high enough that you could read it if you needed to. You want to write something on there. Let me tell you how I actually do my labeling, which I'm going to, I still have to label this one. Basically I go the cheapest route possible that it's still functional. It looks neat. So I print it out on a piece of paper, a bunch of different games. I have some different sets, and then I cut them out and just stick them to the side of the box because the way that I'm going to have these boxes on my shelf, it's going to look more like this here where they're stacked up and you're only going to see these outer walls and the, and so that's where i want my label to be having it here on the back uh, i guess only works if you're going to be stacking them this way and you're going to be able to see the backs of it but I, I just i like stacking them you know with this wall facing outward i can slide a box in a box out as i need to they claim these will hold about 650 cards each and the, those are at rated at uh, 20 point thickness. Now I've seen many times where card companies, or I should say accessory companies like this, you know, they, they do the best they can to like estimate, but in reality, it's like a different number. And sometimes it's a bigger number. Um, I've got a BCW card storage bin that I'm actually able to get more cards in than what they've said. So, I don't know if the 650 is that conservative. I don't know. It also came with 30 of these, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned this. Three packs of 10 of these dividers. So that's why I'm kind of loading up some of these dividers. You can see what it looks like if you're just doing sort of a pure, just raw cards, no deck boxes, no top loaders type of a style of loading. These go for about $2.80 each. I had to buy it in a pack of 10. So I spent $28 on these. Um, so far, I mean, I really am. I'm pretty happy with these. And at $2.80, they don't break the bank. 
uh, in person, like if I went to a store and just bought like some regular boxes, some some storage boxes, I don't know if you can get them. Maybe you can get them for a dollar or two. Not not a hundred percent sure, but I wanted something that was like just I don't know. It's just something that felt like a notch above that standard, just kind of like white old box that I'm used to looking at. So I like that these were painted black. They felt sturdy. You know, they're thick enough cardboard that they. They, you know, they feel like they've got some stout to them. They might, they might be relatively the same amount of strength as another box. Like, I, I don't know that they're any stronger, but they look a little bit cooler to me because they're black. They come with card dividers, so I'm liking that. And they do fit a deck box. And if you're willing to put cards in in another direction, you can get top loaders in there. So overall, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. For $2.80, I can get a lot of bulk stored. I can label it both inside and out. They do come in flattened form. So they're going to look like this. You're going to have to put them together. It's not a huge deal. They do give you these instructions if for some reason you need them. I was able to just put them together. You know, if you've put boxes together, it's kind of self-explanatory, but they do give you the instructions if you need the help. Ultimately, I'm happy with the product. I mean, it's not rocket science here. It's trading card boxes, but I'm looking for the right price. I want it to fit a variety of products. I want it to be something that looks a little bit nicer than just like that plain old, old school white that I'm used to. I've got a ton of magic bulk that I'm ready to load up in here. I've got some indie TCGs where they're each gonna get their own box. If you like the video, make sure to like it because it actually really helps the channel a ton. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all my future content. If you're looking to support the channel, becoming a patron is one of the best way to do that. If you're looking to chat with me between videos, suggest the videos, you've got questions, join me in my Discord. I've got links to both of those things at tedsbasement.com or you can go in the video description below. Take it easy, everybody. See you in the next one.